The bloodiest 24 hours since Ukraine gained independence from the Soviet Union. Protesters threw fireworks and petrol bombs at police in Independence Square, who responded with rubber bullets and stun grenades. What has been the focal point of largely peaceful demonstrations for weeks became a battle zone. An armoured vehicle burst into flames as fires raged amid the chaos. The clashes went on for hours, with both sides claiming the other used live ammunition. There is no justice here. Today's government that is protecting itself using force must serve its people and not the oligarchs. Now, is, now this is the last war. This is the last, last chance for us. If, if now we will fall down, everything will, everything will be broken. The death toll has continued to rise, with protesters and police killed in the violence. Hundreds have been injured. President Yanukovych firmly blamed the opposition for what's happened. I'm again calling for opposition leaders who claim to also want a peaceful resolution to immediately separate themselves from the radical forces that provoke bloodshed and clashes with security services. Overnight talks between the president and opposition leaders failed to reach a deal. Vitaly Klitschko, the boxer-turned-politician, called for compromise. I just, I just come from, uh, from the discussion with the president. We, we have to stop all escalation. It's uh, our main goal. The protests began three months ago after President Yanukovych rejected a trade deal with the EU in favour of closer ties with Russia. Since then, the protests have developed into a direct challenge to the government. Sporadic clashes are still taking place. The situation is extremely tense. This whole area had been under the control of the protesters, but they don't control it anymore. The protests have again spread to other regions of the country. Here in the western city of Lviv, protesters seized government buildings. The Pope has called for an end to the violence, which Russia has blamed on the opposition. EU leaders are set to discuss possible sanctions against the government. Ukraine is increasingly polarised. Today the violence continued. It's not clear what, if anything, can calm the anger on the streets. Duncan Crawford, BBC News, Kiev.